All right, that shit right there is the shit that'll make your ass twitch and your ears bleed. We're talking about HacksRadio.com. Big shout out, Mr. E, The Fixer, the rest of the crew. And not only is HacksRadio.com the shit that'll make your ears bleed, it is the stream that allows the FBI to fulfill their sexual fantasies. Good Lord, it's Wednesday. It's time for the Hacker News update. First thing up. Sony covering their ass. Sony engineers met with PS3 hacker GeoHot. George Hotz, a.k.a. GeoHot, first made a name for himself in the PS scene when he not only managed to hack a PlayStation 3, but then proceeded to publish a guide that shared with others how to do it as well. In an effort to improve their security measures, Sony has had several of their engineers meet with the computer mastermind to better understand his methods. In a statement, we are always interested in exploring all avenues to better safeguard our systems and protect customers, said Jim Kennedy, the senior vice president of strategic communications for Sony Corporation of America. In a story by The New Yorker on the hacker, details were given on the meeting between Sony and HOTS. The two got together after setting things in court, and GeoHOTS spoke surprisingly well of the Sony engineers, noting that they were very respectful. GeoHOTS once wrote on his blog that, Hacker is to computer as plumber is to pipes. In the story, Hot said, I don't hack because of some ideology. I hack because I'm bored. He also said, I live by morals. I don't live by laws. Laws are something made by assholes. Outstanding. Moving along. Skypers. Beware. Skype vulnerability exposing user IP addresses. Skype is warning users following the launch of a site devoted to harvesting user IP addresses. The Skype IP Finder site allowed third parties to see a user's last known IP address by simply typing in a username. A script has been uploaded to GitHub that offers these options. According to the page, it can be used to look up IP addresses of online Skype accounts and return both the remote and local IP of that account on a website. The script is, for instance, available on this site if you go to the hackernews.com, you can find that link. Just enter the name of the Skype user, fill out the capture, and click the search button to initiate the lookup. You will receive the user's remote IP and port as well as the local IP and port. Adrian Asher, director of the product security Skype, we are investigating reports of a new tool that captures a Skype user's last known IP address. This is an ongoing industry-wide issue faced by all peer-to-peer -peer software companies. We are committed to the safety and security of our customers, and we are taking measures to protect them. Right. Of course you are. Outstanding. Next up, flashback malware creator earning $10,000 per day from Google Ads. In a recent an analysis of the business model behind the flashback Trojan, semantic security researchers reported that the main objective of, of the malware is revenue generation through an ad clicking component. Security researchers at Symantec are estimating that the cyber criminals behind the flashback Mac OS Xbot may have raked in about $10,000 a day. Good lord. Hack it, crack it, and throw it in the bank. And last but not least, Oracle Database is a new zero-day exploit that puts users at risk. Oracle has recommended workarounds for a zero-day Oracle Database flaw that was not fixed in the company's April critical patch update. Oracle issued a security alert for the Oracle TNS Poison, the vulnerability disclosed by researcher Joe Joxine Corret after he mistakenly thought it had been fixed by Oracle. It allows an attacker to hijack the information in exchange between clients and databases. Corret originally reported the vulnerability to Oracle in 2008, four years ago. Good Lord, talk about moving slow. And he said he was surprised to see... It had been fixed in Oracle's most recent critical patch update without any acknowledgement of his work. This vulnerability is remotely exploitable without authent authentication and is successfully exploited can result in a full compromise of the targeted database, the company warned. The security alert addresses the security issue CVE-2012-1675, a vulnerability in the TNS listener which has been recently disclosed as TNS listener poison attack affecting the Oracle database server. This vulnerability may be remotely exploitable without authentication and may be exploited over a network without the need for a username and password. A remote user can exploit this vulnerability to impact the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of systems that do not recommend solution applied, Oracle wrote. 
The TNS listener feature known as remote registration dates back to at least 1999 in a version uh, 8i of the Oracle database by sending a simple query to the service an attacker can hijack connections legitimate users have already established with the database without the need of a password or other authentication and then from then on the data traveling between legitimate users and the server pass through the connection set up by the attacker Oracle released a critical update for version 10g and 11g databases products fixing this vulnerability that's the hacking news. Much love to Hacks Radio, the whole crew. See you again on Friday.